Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Last episode, we made the drying racks, we got mud, we got terra clay, and we made cob, which is going to go over here in the area that I made for it over there. All right, today's episode, we are going to do the quest Strain Your Ears. I think I saw some clean water nearby. I haven't seen any animals on this planet, but maybe there are fish I can catch. I don't have the resources for a fishing net yet, but a simple strainer could work as well for now. For that I need something like a wooden hopper that can store caught fish. Then I can build strainers out of them. I have to do some research how different positions in the water will get me more yield. The following options I need to research. 1. Flowing water or water source. 2. Distance between the strainers. And 3. The water height. I also, I assume dependent of how tight the twines are, I will get different resources. Alright, so we need two wooden hoppers. Alright, so if we go in here, we can actually just look for the strainer base and the wooden hopper is right in there. So we're going to shift click here. We're actually going to make four of them. Alright, so we got that. Next, we need two strainer bases. So we're going to go ahead and grab these chests off of here and do this strainer base one of those uh, let's see strainer base another one and there we go we got two of those and next we need a survivalist strainer and a survivalist strainer dense alright now these are pretty easy to make you're basically going to need plant twine and if you don't remember you need three plant fiber in order to make plant twine all right, and depending on which strainer you want, since I want one of each, I'm going to go one, two, one, two. Why is that not? Oh, it's not highlighted. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, which will give me one of each because the recipe for the thinner one is just four of them, and that will give you that one. All right, actually, let's just look at the recipes. The dense net is 5, and the net is 4. Alright, now we can't just put these in the strainer. We actually need to turn them into the actual strainers. Alright, because right now they're just nets. We need sticks around them. So let's do that, and we need this net here, and we'll do this, and boom, there we go. We got that. Alright, now the reason I made hoppers is because I want to take... I'm going to put them right here. I'm going to have the water supply come down, split off, and go to each one of them. This is not the most efficient way, but I'm working with the water that I have because I don't want to have to climb all the way up the mountain just to collect resources from these. All right, so what we're going to do is... Hmm... The strainer... Put the strainer there... Let's actually go craft that. Can I jump up high enough to block that? Yes, I can. All right, so let's get this. Um, this block can stay. This one can come out. We'll stick a chest here. Oops, that's facing the wrong direction. All right, we'll walk back around here place the chest there. Now wooden hoppers. I'm pretty sure I can use hoppers to input to those. That would be stupid if I couldn't. Uh oh. You saw that place, right? Oh, I know what it did. We're going to need to break this. You know what? These actually aren't going to work here. But I'm thinking I can probably input to shelves. So let's run down here real quick. I should have thought of that beforehand. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to break these by hand. All right. There we go. That one broke without putting the tool in it. I won't be able to open up those chests if I have the uh, half slabs on top of them. 
So let's try, we're actually gonna need, let's see, we're gonna need solid blocks here. Let's see, fill that in, fill that in. Oops, give me the wooden hoppers. Now we're gonna shift click on the side of these blocks, then we can break these up. All right, now we should be able to put the shelves right here. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, hmm. This would have worked because what I want to do. Let's see, let's break this up. Uh, where's the torch? There we go. Light that back up. We'll put it back here. And I need one more shelf. Oh, yeah, and I put pressure plates here so that this automatically opens and closes whenever I come through. So that way my drying racks and my furnace and whatever else will still work. It just takes a few seconds off when I run through. All right, so let's put those there. Now what you do is you take your strainer base and you put them like here and here. Oh, I forgot they're up one. So, oops, we don't want that there. Take this, put it here. Okay, nothing in there. Wanted to make sure nothing dropped in. Let's take the oak slab things, put those there, craft this, and I actually want, we'll take this off. I didn't want to do that. That'll work. All right, so let's run upstairs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down and break this block so that the water starts flowing and then we can stick our strainers in. All right, so let's jump out here and you can see, oops, oh, it did go in there but it got output to the shelf. All right, so you can see the water kind of going in there. I wish I could see it better. I'd actually thought about doing Let's see, can I do trap doors on the side of these? No, 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 no. Actually, you know what, I can do it there. That looks a little weird, but you know what, it'll hold the water in and it'll let us do what we wanna do. There we go. So now we can see what's going on up here. So this is flowing water. I think flowing water is like the best you can get. The best setup is a source block right here and then the flowing water. All right, so we're gonna stick the survivalist strainer in this one and you can just right click on it with it. And then we're gonna put the dense one over here. Now these, let me light up this area. F7 to bring those up. Yeah, see, we got some red areas that we want to get lit up. That doesn't necessarily mean that the guru will spawn, I don't think, but it lets you know it's dark enough that you wanna start using torches. All right, you can see this one's already getting stuff. So it's got, let's see, if we hold shift, we can see what's in here. And we need to pull this slab out because that's something I dropped in. All right, so you can see two rocks, one iron ore, and a diorite rock. All right, and over here we got two loam and two sand. All right. So we're done with this. We can claim the meter, which we, if we click on this, we can see plus 10% efficiency. So I think this actually works the same as a source block. So that's good to know. I think that's 10% efficiency. All right. Hmm. I don't have enough loam for the charcoal yet. A beginner's furnace. We're gonna need cobblestone for this. So yeah, um, let's see, what other quests do we have? It's not telling us how to get water yet, so that's really, really annoying. I'm not sure which quest we need. Regrowth, okay. I found some kind of plant life. Maybe if I show this to the people at home, they can give me something in return. With the pasture seed I got in return, I assume I can grow that on dirt. Now that I have dry grass, maybe I can dig through it like the coarse loamy dirt to get some plant life. So basically, we're going to be able to get appetite and algae from the strainers. We throw those through the portal and we can get a dry pasture seed. 
All right, so if we actually look, all right, past your dry past your seed and the elven trade, it's one and one gets you a dry past your seed. All right, so nothing yet. Ooh, check this out. We got a fish. We actually got two raw fish. Ooh, hello. Three. Do I hear four? There we go. Nope. There's an unlit torch that I broke up somewhere along the line. We can actually add the fish here to dry out fish. All right, so actually let's save one of these. And then once those dry, we'll compare them. All right, so our life is starting to get a little bit easier. Once we can make a crucible and we can start turning leaves into water and we make some clay, let's see, let's look at bucket. We're gonna need a furnace to fire the bucket, but we can make an unfired clay bucket. Ooh, wait, can you make that out of terra clay? You can. Hmm. So let's see, click here, and it was right here. Here we go. We got a, three unfired buckets out of that. Was that recipe for three of them? Oops. No, it's only one. Apparently I used a bunch of clay that I didn't realize I had in my inventory. All right, so it'll probably take us a little while to get algae and... Uh, what was appetite? I remember now. Algae and appetite. So these do have a durability. They have 180 uses for the basic one. All right, so let's look. Strainers. Now the next one we can make is the solid survivalist strainer. That is the iron one, which costs, use a regular net, and it takes four iron bars and four iron nuggets. Now the iron bars actually take iron rods to make and you make those in the casting table. All right, and then you can make, oh, let's see. And that has 1,440 uses and it's plus 10% efficiency. All right, now if we make the reinforced one, that takes four diamonds and four obsidian, but it has 8,640 uses and it has 25% efficiency or plus 25% efficiency, plus you can enchant it. But if you're thinking, ooh, yeah, cool, we're gonna get awesome you know, strainer nets early on in the game, let's look. An enchanting table, you need a mana pylon. All right, getting the book wouldn't be too hard. Getting the obsidian is pretty easy, you know, a little bit down the road, but the mana pylon for mana steel you actually need steel for that. You can't use iron. The recipe is changed. But the nice thing is we got as much mana as we want because of the everlasting guilty pool. Ooh, we got clownfish too. Come on. There we go. So we need to run back down here and check this. We're getting close to the end of the episode. Time flies by. All right, let's take one of these out. Now, why would we want to dry them? Well, this does two and a half hunger and two and a half saturation. The raw one only does one hunger and half a saturation. Not to mention your protein goes from 1% to 2.5%. All right. Now, ooh. And I don't, oh, okay. I got torches. Here we go. Put that down just to get rid of that one spot, even though mobs don't spawn on this planet. I don't like having those red X's. And let's hit F7 to get rid of them. Ooh, see, we got an algae. We haven't gotten an appetite yet. We'll probably cover that in next episode. I'm actually recording this episode a day early because I want to be able to have time to make some more strainers and gather some more resources before the next episode. All right, let's go ahead, do this, get that plant twine. This, the efficiency meter, we really don't need. Let's see, can we melt that down? Nope. Bummer. All right, but you can see, yeah, eight iron, 
Uh, let's see, what is this? Tin ore rock, eight of those. We got two silver, three copper, four lead. Yeah, so we're starting to get some metals. Now, you can't just smelt these in a furnace. You can smelt copper ore, which we haven't even gotten any yet, I don't think. Oh yeah, copper ore, four of them. The copper you can smelt down, but the iron you can't. You have to have a special smelting thing for that. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.